Greetings all, The Devious Monkey here. Today I want to talk about models. More specifically, when you don't have any. I sort of have a love and hate relationship with models. Way back when I started, pretty much most of the people that I shot were friends. They were people that I knew. And once I sort of got into the world that I was in, it, a lot of it became word of mouth. It wasn't very difficult to find people, reliable people, that would actually show up, that were great to work with, that just had great vision, great presence, and we created some great art together. <sighs> but there were also those few that sucked. They were horrible. They didn't show up, they were late, they didn't know what to do. Um, and that's fine if you're just starting out, but not when you represent yourself as a model and you don't know what the hell you're doing. So I've sort of been all over the board with it, and I definitely had issues with people not showing up. And I did have one person that I broke my studio down and threw everything into my, into my truck, and I drove from Chicago to Milwaukee-ish, and she wasn't there. You know, this is before like cell phones were really prevalent and all that kind of stuff. So I had no way to get a hold of her. I was beating on the door and she didn't answer. And I'm like, what the hell? So my wife and I turned around, drove back home to Chicago. And my wife went online and saw that the girl posted on her MySpace, if that tells you how long ago this was, that, oh, yeah, I decided to go do a shift at the bar. So, yeah, sorry to the devious monkey. That was the final straw that broke this camel's back. And I put all my shit away and I didn't take another picture for like a year because I was so dejected and so disgusted and sick of it. And it had just shit like that. It just completely sucked the passion out of photography for me. So I just stopped. I didn't touch a camera. And then it was like a year ish later and another friend of mine wanted to do some boudoir photos for her and her husband. She wanted me to do them. And I was like, shit, I don't even know if I remember how to use a camera. And she was pretty much like, well, you better get it and start practicing because I, I want you to do this. And thank you. It did do just that. I broke everything out. I started playing around and I figured out how to, to be a photographer again. And we had a great session. I had a lot of positive feedbacks on her pictures and everything. She loved them, her husband loved them, so on and so forth. That broke me out of my funk and I started shooting again. But I had this sort of mantra that's like, yeah, screw models, squirrels and sunsets, that's all I'm doing. And I sort of became a nature photographer and I just used to go out, or street photographer, whatever, but I did not do any scheduled photo shoots with models for anything anymore because I just, I just didn't care to have my passion sucked out of me and spit out and stepped on and so on and so forth. And that's the way it went for years. That's the way it's continued. So now I decided that I was going to, you know, get back into this in a way to get prepared for this possible upcoming opportunity, you know, and I got my a7r4 and my new sigma lenses and all that kind of stuff and i've taken it with me everywhere every single day and i've been out there shooting and having a great time and my passion's back and i'm ready to go and i said that i needed to rewire myself and to stop thinking that models were flaky and that i needed to work with the right people and i needed to just get back out there and start scheduling model shoots again first person i reached out to we were just going to meet up for coffee and and discuss what we were going to do and she was a no-show. <laughs> and, and I literally sat there for like 35 minutes. I, I kind of felt like Mini Driver when they were in Gross Point Blank, when it's like 25 after 7, and Martin was supposed to be there at 7, and she's just sitting there looking at the phone going, this is not happening again. This, this is not happening again. First, first one out of the gate, no-show. So that's why I was in a pissy mood yesterday. I have since calmed myself down, and I'm not going to judge everybody based on that situation. And it's great that she didn't get up on time and her alarms didn't work and whatever the hell else. Okay, great, moving on. Which leads me to the point of what I wanted to talk about today. Because I've been sitting here thinking that I need to shoot human beings. I don't have any human beings to shoot. 
My wife is not going to let me shoot her all the time. That's, that's just out the window now. The only people that I know in this neighborhood are kids. I'm not shooting kids. So short of me going somewhere and like just sneaking street photography type shit in, which is not what I'm going for, then I don't have anyone to shoot. So then I thought to myself, hmm, what if I get like a, I don't know, a, a, a mannequin or something? So I started looking that up and I did indeed find an actual site that caters to photo mannequins, but not quite what I'm going for. Like you could order a, a torso or a full body. It could be jointed and all that kind of stuff, but it's still a mannequin. And those freaking things were $1,300. I'm not paying $1,300 for a freaking mannequin. I'll dumpster dive and find some place at a store that closed down. I mean, there's no way that I'm paying that much for it. I mean, at that point, I might as well buy a real doll and you know, then I've got something that's almost lifelike that I can shoot. So that's kind of what I wanted to go with this video. Is that I want to know, all you photographers out there, what do you do when you don't have an actual human being to shoot, but you want to shoot something or you need to practice? When I sat here before and I was trying to get all these cameras, you know, for filming worked out in the studio, I actually used a monopod and I used a magnet to clip off my gray card to it so that I could get a proper white balance reading. Not very effective. It was incredibly annoying. It didn't want to stick. It kept screwing and, and turning around and all that kind of shit. Again, not what I'm going for. I'm at the point now where I'm ready to go to like a, a toy store or something and buy a really big stuffed animal just so that I have something that I can shoot that isn't $1,300 or a real doll that's $6,000. So I don't know. I mean, what do you guys do? I couldn't be the only photographer in the world that does not have a human being at their beck and call to shoot whenever you want to practice something. And keep in mind, I take these cameras with me everywhere I go. I always have a camera on me. I'm ready to shoot at a moment's notice. If I have an idea, I want to go. And that could be in my house, in this studio, in this chair for all I care, or it can be in my vehicle, or I can take this damn thing out into the rec center, woody area, or the state park. Yes, I'm gonna look a little odd walking around with a mannequin, or you know, or worse yet, a real doll. I may even look a little ridiculous walking around with a big stuffed animal, but I don't really give a shit about that. I want to do what I wanna do, and I need to practice. So I'm putting that out there to you guys. I just sort of wanted to give you a background of, of why <laughs> models annoy me and also why I need to rewire my head from thinking that uh, models are annoying, and also that I need practice. I need practice, and, and I also can't afford to hire a model like every damn day when I have an idea and I wanna go out and shoot. Ooh, damn it, I'm hitting the table again. So, so yeah, please. Go in the comments below, let me know what it is that you guys are doing. And I mean, it doesn't necessarily have to just be for, for photography, because you still have to get a white balance. You still have to be able to, to, to shoot people when you're doing video, and sometimes you just don't have anybody. So please, in the comments down below, let me know, give me some ideas of what you think would work to have basically a stand-in for a human being to practice your photography. That's all I've got to talk about today. I'm just sitting here all day. You know, I've got all this training going on this week. So, you know, I haven't been able to go out and play as much as I wanted to. And even if I do go out, you know, I, I can only bore you guys so much with, with flowers or, or trees or, you know, yesterday on my walk, there was a bunny, there was a squirrel, you know, shit like that. But I need to practice. I want to practice. Help me practice. So again, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Tell me I'm crazy, whatever. As always, thanks for joining me. Like, subscribe, and all that shit. And remember, kids, oh, by the way, I did get my first COVID vaccine today, Moderna, however the hell you pronounce it. Don't be a dick. Go out and get vaccinated. So thanks for joining me. Like, subscribe, and all that shit. Remember, kids, forward enough.